If you have a rock chip that looks like this, then follow along to see the steps that I took to fix and prevent it from spreading. There are many products on the market to choose from for this type of repair, but I chose to go with this one. Not only was it the cheapest one I could find on Amazon, but it also says made in the USA. I'll put a link below this video for you to see it for yourself. Let's take a look in the box. We've got a set of instructions, the resin, the plunger, UV curing sheet, the bowl, the adhesive, and a razor blade. All right, let's get started. First, take the push pin out from the side of the plunger. I'll use this to dig out any loose glass or debris inside the pit of the chip. I was careful here not to dig too much as I didn't want to make the chip worse. Then, take a clean and dry rag and wipe the area clean. Peel one side of the adhesive backing off and stick it to the glass, making sure to keep the pit of the crack centered. Peel the top layer off and stick the bowl to it, making sure the tabs line up. By the way, you will want to make sure those tabs are in the upward position. Cut the end of the resin tube and begin to fill in the bowl. You'll notice it fills up quick and starts to overflow. That's okay as you'll want to make sure that the bowl is full. Keep some paper towels nearby to clean up your mess. Next, take the syringe and press it firmly into the bowl. Make sure the plunger is completely compressed before doing this. Then you'll pull up on the plunger and lock it up by twisting it so that the notch hangs up on the metal piece. This will create a vacuum and remove any air bubbles from the crack. After about 10 minutes, you'll pull the pin, letting the air back in. Replace the pin, and then press down on the plunger, creating positive pressure to force the resin into any of the tiny spaces in the crack. After 15 minutes, remove the syringe. Then remove the resin bowl from the glass by pulling up slowly. Be sure to clean up your mess. Take your resin one last time and squeeze out approximately one drop to fill in any spaces. Then place the UV curing sheet over it. Of course, you'll want to make sure your vehicle is in direct sunlight for this. If you see any air bubbles, you can use the razor blade as a squeegee to push them out. Let this sit for 20 minutes. Once this is done, take your razor blade and scrape off the UV sheet and any excess cured resin. Now, you'll notice the hairline cracks are still visible, but the pit is pretty much completely gone. This is because, while the pit of the crack has large spaces for the resin to seep into, the hairline cracks don't. There is just no space for resin to fill, and therefore they are still visible. Not to worry though, filling in the pit of the crack is what I was after, so that the crack is strengthened and I've minimized the possibility of further cracking. Here's a before and after shot in which you can see the pit of the crack is completely gone. And here's an overlaid shot so you can see the dramatic difference. Here it says on the back of the box, not recommended for linear or spider cracks. Thanks for watching me fix my windshield. And don't forget if I helped you in any way to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also check the description below this video for links. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.